Good day, everyone. Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. This is a map of where the recent spike in radiation has happened around the world, or especially in Europe. Now, I'm going to ask everybody to do one big favour for me, is please share this video with as many people as you can because I'm going to show you exactly why there's been a spike in the radiation and it's not from any nuclear thing it's from Fukushima and I'm going to prove it to you <coughs> excuse me so let's go back to the beginning yesterday or sorry last week they told us this week so it would have been last week a US nuclear sniffer plane in Britain after nuclear spike. Now, they're blaming the Russians for letting off uh, an atomic weapon in, in the uh, North Pole. This is absolute bullshit, and they're probably going to try and force everybody to go to war because of it. Um, but that's why I'm asking everyone to make sure you share this video, because I want to show you the conclusive proof that it wasn't, then you'll all agree. Okay, this just basically tells you exactly what happened. You know, they've now got this sniffer plane. You know, you can't miss it, can you? Look at that. All the way from Finland, all the way down to Spain. I've detected the presence of iodine-131 at low levels. Low levels, not high levels, low levels. So they're the levels that they're reporting. Now, you can guarantee they'll be higher than that, but they didn't want to freak out people. See that one there? That's actually pretty high. Look, and I'm going to tell you why that particular area is pretty high. But what's wrong? Iodine-131 is resonating all through Europe. Now, this is the Wikipedia as regards to iodine-131. And basically, it has a half-life of eight days. So basically, it starts reducing or burning in on itself, after, I would imagine, after eight days. It sort of dissipates. So it's not a very, you know, it doesn't stay around that much. Um, and it mentions the Fukushima nuclear crisis is a major fission product of uranium and plutonium. So what that means is they mix uranium, plutonium, and you end up with iodine-131. Okay. It is notable, iodine-131 is notable for causing mutation and death in cells that it penetrates. For that reason, for this reason, high doses of the isotope are sometimes less dangerous than low doses. Ah, low doses. Sorry, what did they say? In January, presence of iodine one three one at low levels. Mm. So they're worried, folks. They're extremely worried. I mean, it is increasingly less employed in small doses in medical use, especially in children, but increasingly used only in large and maximal treatment doses as a way of killing targeted tissues. This is known as therape therapeutic use. So basically, they give you shitloads of it to kill everything. But, if you get a low dose of it, it kills you. That's why the plane's there. That's why they're freaking out. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you some maps. This is a map of wind currents. It's pretty simple to understand. Don't have to be Einstein to work it out. 
Australia, Japan, Fukushima, wind currents go that way. But they don't they don't actually go that way. They go up down the coast of America, across America, back up and to Europe, to here, to this area here. And I'm going to prove it to you. That's why I want everybody to share this video. Here's all the information. Just type in latest European radiation. Russia feared to have detonated nuke in Arctic as US hunter plane sweeps over Britain. It's a load of shit. It's Fukushima. And I'm going to show you. Remember the earth, the currents, the wind currents? <clears throat> now, this is null school. Meth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. See how much that changed then? So, I'm now going to prove to you with this little instrument, this great little instrument, how this all works. Sorry, don't even know my way around the map. That's pretty embarrassing. Right, this is Japan. This is Fukushima just here. Notice the wind currents. You don't really notice too much about them when you're watching them like this, do you? This is America just here. This is Alaska. See how they go in, some come back around to form a vortex and stay in the vortex. Some go in, join the main one coming up through the jet stream here, whatever it is looks like a jet stream, and goes up to Alaska, and then comes down the American coast. That all looks rosy, doesn't it? Look, you can't really see much like that, can you? You see the wind currents going across America just there? Now what happens when I drop it down to, say, 500 hectopascals? Now do you understand... This is Fukushima. This is radiation coming from Fukushima straight up, follow the red, goes up through Alaska, straight through down the east, west coast of America, across America. Look, both in two directions one down here, and one from uh, close to Victoria Island, Seattle, I'm guessing, goes across Seattle, way across here, up through the top end of Canada, and this one here goes through what looks like New York. Does everyone understand that? I'll go through it again. It's very easy to understand. This is the world's wind currents. This is where they're going. Right? This is how they go. You can't change them. This is America. Please share this with everybody you know because this is important. Because if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you are now being irradiated to death. And I'm not shitting you. This is the wind current. Look, it goes down. That's Florida there. It goes down the back end, goes through the, the Gulf Coast there. Comes back out, goes back up, comes through. Now watch where it goes. Straight through to Europe. Goes this way and goes down through Spain, back into this one, and down there. Sorry, it doesn't mix with that one. But this one does. Look. Can either go up and out that way or down slightly. Some of it goes down and comes back up and goes through this way, through the back end of Spain. Look, it clearly shows you that. Now I'm going to show you something shocking. Now do you get it? 
Now do you get it? They're worried about Europe, but what about here? Look, this is going exactly in the areas. See this one here? That's going straight through Finland, and this one here is going straight through Spain and Europe, going straight over the top of the UK. Folks, you're being, if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, you are being irradiated to death by Fukushima. In my last Fukushima update, I pointed out that Tetco, who owns Fukushima, told the world that it was now at 530 sieverts an hour. And there were some people who were saying it was 5,000. I showed you everything in the last video to prove that Fukushima was now an extinction level event. Please share this video with everybody you can. We are now being irradiated to death. You are in the normal hemisphere anyway. Don't believe me? Look at the wind maps. They've known that this is going to happen, folks, for years. They were hoping that most of it would dissipate over America, this part of America, and the water, I'm guessing. And then if it did reach this far, then it would actually get dissolved into the water here. But you know and I know that there was a massive storm system that just went through America and actually blew the shit out of the place and blew all the stuff to the other side of the world. So the radiation that is here is now from Fukushima. There is no two ways about it. Please share this video with everyone you can and tell them to get the hell out or start protesting or do something because you are being irradiated to death. Fukushima is now an extinction level event. Let me say that again. Fukushima is now an extinction level event. And if you're in Europe, America, you're now being irradiated to death. If you're working in the airline industry anywhere in Australia, or you know of anyone that's working in the airline industry, show them this video. Because any plane that goes through Tokyo or through this jet stream that you're looking at, the air system that you're looking at now, is irradiated. Baggy chandlers, everybody. This is no joke. This is now a full-on extinction level event. What you do from here now is up to you. But very soon, you're going to hear that on this coat, these, these, um, sorry, you're going to hear that places around here are going to have radiation. It is just a natural occurrence, folks. It has an eight day life. If you get a big wind span, it's going to blow it straight through. Please, please, please share this video. It's ultra important and it's absolutely crucial that people have this information and decide for themselves what they want to do. This is now irradiating kids. Irradiating your kids if you're living in Europe and you're watching this. It's now irradiating you to death.
If you don't believe me, go and pick up a Geiger counter or the radiation. Um, what do they call those things? Spectrometer or whatever it is. Radiation monitor. Folks, I'm going to say something very important now. Very, very important. You need to understand that we're all in this together. There is no singularity in this at all. But we do need to stand together and we do need to stand up to this and we do need to make as many people aware of this as possible. Absolutely 100%. So having said that, Hopefully everyone understands the full ramifications of what's happening at the moment. And in your heart, please take the time to say this prayer for everyone because it is that serious. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And I say that prayer with the heaviest heart imaginable because we have now reached that point where we can't keep turning our heads and looking the other way, thinking that something that's so bad and wrong is going to go away. It hasn't gone away, and now it's going to start killing us all. Good luck, everybody, and God bless. Prep out.